Now we're going to talk about powers and indices. You might have heard of them before. They are the little numbers that you sometimes see on normal numbers. For example, if we have a normal sized 5, and if I put a little 2 on it, you might know that that means 5 squared. And it means that we are going to take 5 and we are going to multiply it by itself. 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 squared is 25. Now let's say we had 5 with a 3 on it. That means 5 cubed, which is 5 times 5 times 5. Now if we're going to work that out, 5 times 5 is 25, as we just worked out. But then times that answer, 25 by 5, and 25 times 5 is 125. Now, the little number on top, the 3 here and the 2 there, they are called indices. That's the plural, meaning more than one of them. If there's only one, you call that the index. So the index when there's only one, or indices. And when a number has been written like that, it's said to be in index form. Now, let's have a look at another example. If we had 2 to the power of 4. Now, unlike to the power of 2, where we call it cube, uh, squared, and to the power of 3, where we call it cubed, to the power of 4 doesn't have a special name. You just say 2 to the power of 4. And it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 times 2, which is 4, times that by 2, which is 8, and times that by 2, 16. So now let's say someone gave us a sum. For example, uh, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. If we had to write that in index form, it means we have to write it like that, with the little number. So if there's an index, it means it's in index form. So that would be 5, because that's the main number, to the power of, and because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 of them, it would be 5 to the power of 4. That's index form. You can also do it with letters. So, for example, if we had an x times it by an x times it by another x, in index form, this would be x to the power of, and there's because there's 1, 2, 3 of them, it would be x to the power of 3. So they are in index form.